Our other top story today, the fallout from General Motors decision to shut down five plants and lay off nearly 15,000 workers is growing by the hour. And it seems President Trump is leading the way. Take a look at these tweets he sent this afternoon. They read in part, quote, very disappointed with General Motors and their CEO, Mary Barra, for closing plants in Ohio, Michigan, and Maryland. Nothing being closed in Mexico and China. The U.S. saved General Motors, and this is the thanks we get. We are now looking at cutting all GM subsidies, including for electric cars. The president sent that tweet right around 2 o'clock this afternoon, and you would certainly know it from looking at this graphic of General Motors stock price throughout the day. 2 p.m. is right here, and look what happens. Uh, steep drop. However, we should note that in just a few minutes uh, after a little while after that, it did jump back up right around 340 and that's when GM issued a statement. Let's bring in our business editor Rob Maloney live with the fallout and GM's response. Rod. Well, you know, Devin, the Advanced Battery Technology Consortium is what General Motors gets the federal dollars for, about $43 million this year so far. It's also received about $30 million in other federal grants, and uh, that's what the president is threatening to cut out. But uh, analysts have been looking at this, and they're not so sure that it really amounts to much of anything than an idle threat. The company does not appear to be moved by it at all. Here's another tough tweet. General Motors made a big China bet years ago when they built plants there and in Mexico. Don't think that bet's going to pay off. I am here to protect America's workers. Well, the company responded, GM's committed to maintaining a strong manufacturing presence in the U.S. Yesterday's announcement supports our ability to invest for future growth and position the company for long-term success and maintain and grow American jobs. We appreciate the actions this administration's taken on behalf of the industry to improve the overall competitiveness of U.S. manufacturing, end quote. And Michigan Congressman Dale Kildee told CNN today he is decidedly not with the president. Is that the president has been made a fool of by his own words and uh, now he's trying to hit back. Yet for all the excitement, Detroit Hamtramck line worker Eugene Harris isn't at all concerned. I didn't think it really would be uh, in effect. I really did. You didn't do. So you don't think that they're going to shut this down? I don't think so, no. He believes trucks or SUVs are going to replace the Volt in the 2019 national contract. GM added this to its statement, too. Many of the U.S. workers impacted by these actions will have the opportunity to shift to other GM plants where we will need more employees to support growth in trucks, crossovers, and SUVs. Eugene's ready to move. Flint. You'd be happy to go to Flint? Yes. Flint or uh, Arlington, Texas. What he's talking about there, of course, is bumping rights, uh, the, the, that the senior workers can move to a plant and uh, take a position that a lower senior person has. And the company is also saying they're going to expand the number of jobs in those plants that are building on free shifts. Now, in the meantime, uh, GM only has minimal presence at the L.A. Auto Show. They're not talking out there. But uh, analysts that I've been reading about from this afternoon say they're not too concerned about any of this and that they figure that uh, GM has actually made a pretty good move in making the announcement. Back to you. Which we saw in the stock price yesterday as they made the announcement when it jumped. Mm -hmm. um, but Rodham, there's also been a lot of debate about what the tariffs and the trade war are meaning for all this because it's costing the automakers a lot right. more in steel and aluminum. Well, no doubt about it, Devin. Now, the General Motors is saying tariffs had nothing to do with this decision, but uh, analysts will tell you that, uh, you know, we're seeing steel and aluminum uh, tariffs kick up costs, and we're also seeing uh, that auto parts themselves might actually be going up in the days ahead. Mm. So there is some concern that tariffs will still have an impact. Yeah. All right, Rod.